everybody. We're going to be continuing on with our theme of respected and really be looking at respecting our body and our mind and thinking about how exercise really impacts our body and mind and looking particularly at why is exercise important. Okay, so we are learning to understand the importance of exercise in maintaining, which means keeping, a healthy mind and body. Now, how are we going to learn this? Well, we've got this PowerPoint today. We're hopefully going to all be taking part in the virtual North Coast 500 challenge. Although, boys and girls, I understand that not everybody can do this challenge and that is absolutely fine. Okay, but everyone can understand the importance of exercise. We're also going to be looking at some videos that I'm going to post in the assignments or videos that other people have posted about the benefits of exercise so you can watch them as well for a wee bit of further research to get some more ideas and we're going to be spreading the word about the benefits of exercise. We want to be telling other people why it's exercise so great for our mind and our body. So why are we learning about this? Well, we want to respect our body and mind by looking after our body and mind. We want to be effective contributors who encourage others to do the same. And we also want to be part of a team challenge. We want to work together, boys and girls. We might not be at school, but we are still Team Muirhouse, okay? And we're in our P4 and P5 bubble. So let's really take this chance to be a part of a team and really, really go for it. And how are we going to know that we've been successful? Well, we can talk, say, write, draw, whatever you like about the benefits of exercise for mental and physical well-being. There's some personalisation and choice in today's lesson as well, boys and girls. So let's get stuck in. We've got some top tips from Joe Wicks about why we need to exercise. Now, boys and girls, I do not know about you, but in the first lockdown, I was really, really good at keeping up with Joe and I was doing some of his videos and I was trying to keep really fit. And then I feel like this lockdown, I've just not been exercising as much and I'm not respecting my body and mind. And maybe you've kind of felt the same. Maybe you've felt like, do you know what? See, since this lockdown started, I've not really been looking after my body and mind by exercising. So you might be thinking that you need to make a change as well. So why do we need to exercise? Take a wee second to think about that. Why is it we even exercise? Why am I going on about it? Why do we do PE in school? Why are we going to be doing this challenge? Think about it. Okay, well, moving and being active every day is very important. It helps you to feel happy and confident as well. What are your favourite ways of being active? Now, we've got lots of different pictures here of people doing sports and things. Now, boys and girls, I know that a lot of people normally go to clubs. You might go to football or to dancing. And you might be feeling quite down that you can't go to those clubs right now, which is totally understandable. But we need to think, remember we were talking about how to have a positive attitude, a positive mindset. So let's think about what ways we can be active. And we know that we can still run, walk and cycle and play different active games with our family as well. And here are some questions to think about as well. Why do you think it's important? Okay. How do you feel when you've been exercising? I don't know about you, but when I've been exercising, I get a wee bit of a buzz, boys and girls, and I just feel a lot better, I feel happy, I feel energised and ready to get ahead of my day. Think about how exercise might benefit your body as well, boys and girls. So some good questions to get us thinking and to get us recalling our prior knowledge, what we already know about exercise. Okay, so let's have a look at our body. And this man is asking us, well, which two parts of the human body do you think are the most important when exercising? So what two organs are the most important when exercising? I think I've definitely thought of one. Maybe got the other one. Let's see. Okay, so it's the lungs and your heart are the two most important organs when you're exercising. Did you get that boys and girls? Were you right? So what do we know about these important organs? Well I know that your lungs are really in control of your breathing so I can see why that would be important so you have enough oxygen when you're exercising and I know that your heart pumps blood and oxygen around your body as well so you need to make sure that your heart is nice and healthy and strong. 
And here's some more information about that as well. The heart and the lungs are vital organs. You need to get plenty of air into your lungs when you are exercising. The lungs breathe in air and put the oxygen from the air into your blood and they breathe out the carbon dioxide. Hard working muscles use more oxygen. That's why breathing gets heavier during exercise because your muscles are having to work harder and harder. The heart pumps blood around the body which carries the oxygen and other important things that your body needs. And exercise gets your blood pumping and makes it go faster. So, having a healthy heart, how can you measure your heartbeat? Well, you can take it in two different ways. You can take it with your two fingers by putting it on your wrist or by putting it on your neck as well. And that's called taking your pulse, boys and girls. So, you can measure your heartbeat by taking your pulse. So, try taking your pulse now that you've been sitting still for some time. And then later on, we might think about how our pulse is different when we are moving. So let's have a look then at bones and muscles. So you can see here there's a skeleton and then here is a diagram of the muscles on top of the skeleton. So you wouldn't be able to move without the bones and muscles in your body. Your bones and muscles work together to give you strength and power for your favourite activities. So two important aspects of keeping fit, strength and power. And here we can have, and here we can have then looking at brain boost. So when the heart beats faster, it pumps more oxygen to the brain. Did you know that, boys and girls? And being active is also great for your brain. Movement helps people to concentrate better. So quite often in class, I know a lot of classes like to have brain breaks where they might just stop what they're doing and just move around and get their brain focusing a wee bit more. And exercise can also help to improve learning. So boys and girls, this is why we're doing things like this, because school isn't all about just trying to learn division. You need to have other things like exercise as part of your curriculum, so it helps you learn better, but also make sure you've got a healthy body and mind as well. Feeling fabulous. Movement is great for our physical well-being. Exercise also helps our mental well-being, which is just as important. And we've been talking about our moods and I know we chat a lot in our weekly meetings about how everyone is feeling and we do our emotions check-in. And mental well-being, boys and girls, is so important right now. It's all about how healthy and happy that your mind is. Being active helps people to have more energy to enjoy doing the things that they love as well. Many people feel more relaxed and positive after exercising, so I definitely find that that's the case. Do you find that as well? And it can also help you to sleep better. So when we were talking about our moods and we said that one of the important things to do to try and have a positive mood was to make sure you have a regular sleep schedule. And here we find out that exercising actually helps you to sleep better as well. So it's all linked in together. So how much should you actually exercise? Do you need to exercise every single minute of every single day? Well, being active every day is really important. How long do you think you should spend exercising every day? Do you think 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or 60 minutes? What do you think? How long should you exercise every day? It doesn't all have to be in one go. It could be that you go a walk in the morning and then maybe in the afternoon you do a wee bit of um, star jumps or something like that or maybe do a wee bit of Joe Wicks in the afternoon. Maybe at playtime you're running around with your friends. So how much should you exercise in one day? And it's 60 minutes or an hour every day. Do you know, boys and girls, see when I was first going through this, I thought surely it's only 30 minutes a day, but it's 60 minutes, at least one hour every day. And I heard a really good tip as well the other day, boys and girls, that if you've been sitting at a screen for a while, then every hour you should get up and make sure you move around, move your body at least once an hour. So don't be staring at a screen all day because it just means that your body isn't moving and you're not getting all of those benefits of exercise. So, think to yesterday then, 
Do you think if you added up all of your activity, you would have been active for at least 60 minutes? I'm trying to think if I would have been. Well, we walked to the shop, I did some hula hooping, I think it just made those 60 minutes, but not every day I really need to work on this. What do you think, boys and girls? Okay, so being active. Here's just some of the ways that we might get moving. Playing with a ball, riding a bike, swimming, walking, dancing, gymnastics, skipping and running. So there's loads of ways. And the ways that we're really going to be focusing on this week are riding a bike, running and walking. And one of the most important ways to make sure that you enjoy being fit and exercising is to have fun. So choose the way that you find most enjoyable to exercise. So, so that really brings us on to looking at our new challenge we have this week, boys and girls, and it's a virtual North Coast 500 challenge. And you can see in the picture that the challenge takes you all the way up the highlands. And these are some gorgeous places up here, boys and girls. I would love to go here. If you have done this route, let us know because I'd love to see photos. But it basically takes you around some of Scotland's most gorgeous scenery. Now, obviously, we're not really going to be walking this distance, but we're going to be doing a virtual challenge. And virtual challenges are quite popular these days, boys and girls, because everyone is quite limited in where we can actually go. And it just means that we're going to try and walk this distance. We're going to imagine that we are walking the North Coast 500 and try and walk that distance. Now, you can walk, run or cycle and you can do a wee bit of all of them if you want. If you start walking, it doesn't mean that you can only walk. You can do a mix. Now, you don't need to walk or run or cycle every single day, but remember what we were hearing there about how it's important to exercise for an hour every day. So I think that even walking for a mile every day would be a really, really good way to go about this challenge. But again, please do not worry if you cannot do that. I will give it my best go to do a mile myself, but there may be some days where you do it a wee bit more or a wee bit less, or maybe some days you just can't get out, and that's totally fine, boys and girls. We're going to create a new channel on Teams where we can all post pictures and videos and information about how we're getting on. There's going to be a weekly form that you can fill in on a Friday to tell us how many miles you have travelled that week. And you can use any app like Strava, RunKeeper, an app on your phone, you can look at Google Maps, or even your Fitbit app as well to find out how far that you have ran. And then you just need to put that information into the form. And by ran, I mean walked or cycled as well. Okay, so your main task for today then, so that's our task kind of moving forward. But for today, you're going to be spreading the word about Green Health, which is outdoor exercise, and the virtual North Coast 500 walking challenge. How are we going to do this? Well, you can make a poster, a leaflet. You can do a flip grid where you can film a wrap or even a news report. You might want to be reporting from Channel 5 Live saying that Muirhouse Primary, P4 and P5 have started a new challenge. You could do some writing and you might want to do this written like in a jotter or you could even do this digital as well. You could do this in Microsoft Word or another app that you might have as well. Now I've just popped in some examples here of some posters that other people have made. You can see this one, it says green means go. So this one's really about the benefits of outdoor exercise. We've got the virtual challenge here. It says cycle, walk, run. And it's got a picture of someone running. This one here is from a primary school where they've got run, walk, cycle. They've got the name of the school on it. And they said it's a virtual challenge and it's got some really cool bright colours on it. I really like that one. So some top tips for this then. Don't forget a title. You need to say what is it? What is it we're wanting you to do? You need to explain the challenge. You need to explain we're asking people to walk 500 miles just like the North Coast 500 and we're doing it as a team together. You need to include some facts. You need to say, well, why is exercise good for you? And include some persuasive language as well. You want to make sure you've got bold colours and fonts that really stand out and you could also include some images that relate to outdoor exercise. Now these are just some top tips because as you know your success criteria is to talk, write, 
wrap, sing, draw, anything really about the benefits of exercise, okay? So as long as you're meeting that success criteria, then you are meeting your learning intention. These are just some top tips that will help you out. So boys and girls, I hope that you're looking forward to our challenge this week. I'm excited, I know all the teachers are, and it's going to be a really, really great way for us all to keep our body and our mind healthy in lockdown and really go for it as a team. All right, so have fun this week and good luck with your challenge. Bye.